Garrett and Kelsey, since it is your intention to marry, I invite you to join hands and with your promises, bind yourself to each other as husband and wife. This couple has decided that they would have their vows not out of a book, but unique to them. Garrett, would you make your vow, please? I will, <laughs> if I can make it through it. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. Uh -huh. Kelsey. Kelsey and Garrett, back in the day, uh, you know, I heard rumors that, that Kelsey had a boyfriend. A and, you know, I'm thinking, well, this is going to be one of many. This is probably going to, you know, come and go pretty quick. But uh, uh, <laughs> Garrett's been there, you know. So this, is, this has been a significant date. You know, this, this is the date that Kelsey and Garrett basically uh, got together in eighth grade. As I sat down and started to run through memory after memory, it was hard to pinpoint what exactly molded our beautiful relationship. I don't know if it was when Louie asked you out for me on Instant Messenger, <laughs> because I knew you were out of my league, <laughs> or, <laughs> or if it was feeling like not a single day had passed when we saw each other over extended periods in college, or if it was when I packed up everything I owned and took a job in Pittsburgh, closer to you. <laughs> When I started writing this speech, I thought my job was going to be to give Garrett and Kelsey some advice, something that's going to make their you know, marriage better. And then I realized they've been dating since November 3rd, 2005. And as Tim said, that's half their life. That's 13 years. And I can't give you guys advice that, that you don't already know. You've obviously already figured it out. As we stand here today, Nothing has ever felt so right. I don't know if our little eighth grade selves knew exactly what we were getting into when we started dating all those years ago, but I think we always knew that we had something special, something we probably couldn't even understand at such a young age. Even now, it's difficult to put into words what you mean to me and how happy I am to be marrying you and to finally be able to call you my husband. Kelsey and Garrett are so lucky to have found each other at such a young age to have that many more memories together and to have shared many of life's milestones. They have grown up together and have helped mold each other into the people they are today. And I have to say, they're each pretty great humans. I feel so blessed and fortunate to have each of you in my life and I can't wait to see all that your future holds. I've only had the privilege of knowing you more recently, but this crowd knows that this has been a long time coming. None of us are surprised. The story of the relationship you have built since the junior high days is impressive. 13 years ago today, Garrett asked Kelsey to be his girlfriend. We were only 13 at the time, but that didn't matter. They knew then what they still know now more than ever, and that's that they were meant to be together. But back in the beginning, in the early years, Garrett knew he had to win over Kelsey's crazy 13-year-old friends. So he would come and tell me or ask me for advice for any gift he was gonna get her. It didn't take him long to realize that as the good friend I was, I was quickly recording back to Kelsey about every gift she was about to get. So I was abruptly cut off from ever being told about another gift again. This lasted many, many years until one year he told me about the most special gift yet. Kelsey, I don't know if you know this story and Garrett, I'm not even sure if you remember, but a few years ago, we were at a bar in Southside you pulled me aside and were so excited to tell me you were saving up to buy Kelsey an engagement ring. I'll never forget how happy you looked and that big grin spread across your face. I didn't think for a second about opening my mouth up about that one. But I kind of knew that, that they were a little bit serious one day when Kelsey came to me and says, yeah, I'm going trout fishing with Garrett. You know, I'm like, Kelsey, trout fishing? Six o'clock in the morning, baiting a hook? You know, I was like, come on. But so, so they go trout fishing, and uh, it looks like they uh, care caught the winner there. One, two, three. Ah! Marriage to me is an absolute. It means not only loving you as you are now, but who you are yet to become. Because of this, I vow to you to not only grow old together, but grow together. I vow to take care of you if you were to ever feel broken, become ill, or have a hard time finding your true self. I even promise to be understanding when you worry about our children being too young to hunt or shoot guns 
<laughs> or to ride ATVs. And <laughs> Kelsey, you were not only beautiful, but also wholehearted. How did I get so lucky to marry the best person I know? Kelsey, I promise to always love you. I'd like you to consider something else. We are beginning a new story today. Yes, it's built on the past chapters of those that came before, but there's something incredible that begins today. I don't remember my life without you in it, and I don't ever want to. We've grown up together, and my love for you is a part of me. I promise to never forget this day or this feeling. I promise that this is not the happiest we will ever be. I promise that I will choose you again and again to put us before everyone and everything else every single day. I promise to choose you to struggle with and to succeed with, to laugh with and to cry with, to love and grow old with. I promise from this day forward, you will never have to face this world alone. I will always be by your side and I will never give up on us. I promise that I will love you completely for all the days of my life. Kelsey, I give you this ring. Kelsey, I give you this ring. Garrett, I give you this ring. Garrett, I give you this ring. As a sign of our constant faith. As a sign of our constant faith. Mutual respect. Mutual respect. And abiding love. And abiding love. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. I love you both more than I can put into words. And I just want to say congratulations to the new Mr. and Mrs. Sheely. Garrett, Kelsey, thank you for your friendship, allowing everybody here to be in your lives. Congratulations, good luck in the next step of your adventure and your pursuit for happiness. Cheers. Congratulations, many years of, of happiness. We love you both. Garrett, thank you. Welcome to the family. So please raise your glass to the cutest couple I know, Mr. and Mrs. Sheely.